Well, right now it's time for us to exercise that financial muscle. And in the current economic climate, many South Africans are facing a great difficulty when it comes to saving. And we can all feel it a lot more every single day. And that's why this National Savings Month, Nedbank, posed the hashtag My Savings Pledge Challenge to us and the rest of South Africa to encourage us all to relook our spending habits and see where we can cut back on just one thing and rather save that money towards something more important. And this morning we're joined by friends from Nedbank, the lovely Vanessa Singh and Vanessa Polani. Good morning, ladies. Looking all moneyed, may I say? <laughs> How are you? Oh, fantastic. Good Great to, to be have here. You. Great to have you back here with us. So um, the challenge has been, I think, an eye-opening one for many of us here uh, in the studio, and I'm hoping so that it, it's, it's been the same for South Africans out there. But essentially, what are you looking for South Africans to take away from not only National Savings Month, but also from the challenge? Yeah, I think it's important that um, all of us save um, because you never know when you're going to need it. Mm. And, and you, know, you never know when uh, an opportunity may arise um, or for a particular period in your life. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's responsible for all of us just to consider what we are doing. Yeah. Consider our spending habits and make saving part of our everyday life. Yeah. Um, we were in a shop yesterday and Vanessa, it, the savings was 12 rand. Okay. And Vanessa tells me, Vanessa, that's a discount. You need to take the discount, <laughs> even though it's to our rand. Every cent counts. Every cent counts. Absolutely. Yeah. And I guess, you know, to many people, the idea of saving yeah. might be a far off thought, an unattainable thing. But why would you say it is so important over and okay. above exactly what you've, uh, I, I think, explained that does tell me why saving is important? Why would you say it is so important to you? Yes, I suppose, you know, for, for you know, life throws you curveballs. Yeah. The unexpected happens. And when that happens, you need to have some resources. So if there's an emergency, you've got your back. Mm -hmm. you, have this, uh, the, you have something to fall back on. And then when opportunities arise, I always say when opportunities arise, take it. Take it. Yes. Okay, don't let an a good opportunity <laughs> yes. go by. And so if you have your own resources, mm -hmm. if you have your own savings, you can ex exercise that. And if you're like me, when I'm thinking about retirement shortly, okay, <laughs> what does that mean? Does it, you know, so we all think that this, you, you're going to go on retirement, it's going to be beautiful, uh, and it's going to be a dream. Yes. It may be the other way around. It might be the other way If you way haven't around. planned for it. So people get accustomed to a way of living, mm -hmm. and they think they will live the same when they retire. But actually, if you don't plan for that, it can be quite scary. Yeah, and of course, Vanessa, when you come to the, the planning um, of, of things like retirement, we we're taking a look at long-term investments, yeah. but they're also medium-term and, and short-term. How important is it to consciously set those different goals? And when you say yeah. consciously do it, what do you actually mean by yeah. that? And we start with the, the 12 rand example. Yeah. And that's where you start to be conscious about your savings. Um, so a lot of people think, oh, a 5 rand is not important, a 10 rand isn't. So just really thinking about every single thing you do mm -hmm. and whether you can just save a little bit more. And it also goes to the extent of actually writing some of the stuff down. Yes. So this month for me has been such an eye opener mm -hmm. because I've been able to save a lot myself. And you would think many people would think, oh, you in banking, you understand this, so what are you gonna actually save? Um, I've reviewed every single thing I do and how oh. I spend money to alter the way, the routes I take, the t you know, petrol I try to save. Yeah. Um, so just that's you know, conscious in every single thing, mm -hmm. write it down, that really works for me. Yeah. So um, that looks so the budget. budget. Yeah. Um, and, and really think about, you know, where I'm spending, what am I spending it on? Should yeah. I could I have done this better? Um, so so you know, really writing it down, budgeting, yeah. understanding it. And then we talk about really where do you put that money? Yeah. Um, so conscious is not just, oh well I know it's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, it's I've gonna stay there. You know, it. I'm yeah. gonna it's, so so that's lazy money. Get your money to work harder for you. <laughs> uh, you like know, that. put it somewhere you're gonna get some interest, get something back, grow it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, conscious Nobody likes is lazy things. money. You want your yes. money to hustle for you because you yes, hustle for your money exactly. Exactly. Yeah. as well. Yeah. So exactly. where would you say is most important to begin? I mean it, yeah. is is it with the short, is it with the medium, is it with the long term? And how can um, Nedbank help you to achieve those different goals? So so if you're like a Vanessa, then go long term because you've got this short term <laughs> thing done and you know, you're, you're ready for retirement. But I always say to people, start, start small, start immediately, start thinking short term. Yeah. Uh, because when you start thinking long term, it's extremely daunting. You know, yeah. you've got to have this amount of money to retire you know, comfortably and people go, never going to get there. Mm. So I always say, start with something, 
start small, start now, yeah. and build that over time. Um, and, you know, put it in in terms of being able to also enjoy your life in balance. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to lock all your money in and then you have that flat tire and then you, you're going to have to walk to work every day. Probably it's a good savings plan anyway. But, <laughs> but you need to balance it out and have some of that stuff as well. Yeah. So, so this short-term savings, so typically how we at NetBank could help uh, South Africans save. So when you talk about budgeting and mm. writing it down, so you know when you used to budget, you used to put money in this envelope for groceries and this for travel and this for entertainment and clothing. So take that same budgeting principles. What we have, we call something uh, a savings pocket. Mm -hmm. So off your five rand account, which you've been talking about the whole month, mm -hmm. in your five rand account or other accounts we have, you create a savings pocket. You can have multiple pockets. Yes. So this is my grocery pocket and put your money in there. And, and your entertainment and your travel, et cetera, et cetera. But what it does for you is you earn interest on it mm -hmm. because you're not going to spend everything on entertainment in one weekend. At least over the rest of the month, you have built up interest. So in the savings pocket, as you start accumulating money, you see, I haven't used so much. I haven't used everything. Mm -hmm. But you also have a savings pocket for emergencies. Yes. Then take that and say, OK, I've accumulated the pool. How does it work hard at the next level? And that's when we look at a 32-day notice deposit. And what the 32-day notice deposit does, it, it actually stops you. It, it helps you resist temptation. Yeah, it makes you think about think what about, you're going to do. You have to yeah. think about, so I need to buy that stuff, but hell, I've got to give notice on my money. Yeah. And then to wait 32 <laughs> days, you've forgotten about it. And that 32 <laughs> days earns you higher interest. Absolutely. Now, you, you look at this 32-day interest uh, uh, notice account, and it's earning interest, and you say, wow, my money is growing. Yeah, maybe okay. if I kept it in for 32 days longer, I might yeah. earn more. And there then we go. that's the whole idea. And then 32 days, very quickly, goes to a one-year savings and you earn yeah. higher interest. So this, this is a beautiful example. Somebody told me the other day that his wife used to, used to buy uh, clothing on a store card and he told her, why don't you pay it off? Because she used to get irritated. They call her, yeah. they say, you know, you're, you're overdue, whatever the case may be. They should tell her. So he used to say, pay off your store card, save for it, and then you can buy with the savings. Guess what? Now that she's saving to buy clothes, she stopped buying so much. All right. Well, I think mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot for us to think about, and we'd certainly like to hear from you uh, about what it is that you have been saving for. So please do give us a call on 021-430-9881 and share with us your thoughts and whether it is a short or a long-term long plan that you're working towards. The Nedbank team are here and can assist you with reaching your savings goal. So give us a call, 021-430-9881. We will be right back. I take big leaps, I make plans, and backup plans. I just need my money to take me further. Let your money take you further. Save or invest and get a great rate. Pay no monthly fees or commissions and get fully guaranteed capital. See money differently. Nedbank.